Everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today is Monday, the first day of February. A uh, good way to start the week, good way to start the month. Plus $1,256.50 on the morning. Uh, let's take a look at what we did here. We did three mighty 90 trades, all three of which were winners. Book 240 in Facebook, 300 in NVIDIA, 55 in Roku. We actually took a pairs trade this morning. Uh, unfortunately, it did not work out. Minus 176. We were trying to go long Russell versus short MES, and the Russell just got weak uh, compared to the ES, so that one did not pan out. And then on the runners, we did five trades, four of which were runners. AMD was our only loser, uh, minus 180. Beyond, plus 194. DKNG, small winner, 89. Netflix, basically a scratch at 30. And Roku, plus 705. So let's check these out. I'll show you what I did here, starting with the mighty 90 uh, in Facebook. So let's start with Facebook. Take a look here. I'll expand this so you can see it a little bit better. So we had this initial flush lower. I uh, had a little pop in volume here, so we started getting short right in this area, and then we added to it down here at this area. Caught that nice bounce and booked a $240 winner. NVIDIA did a uh, pretty similar thing in NVIDIA about the same time, a little bit later. I spread these entries out a little bit, but we got long here in NVIDIA about right here. Pushed against us a little bit. I was looking to potentially add. I added to Facebook instead. Uh, we got a nice little bounce, two bar bounce, and we're out for 300 in NVIDIA. Uh, Roku. So in Roku, we had a couple trades. One was a mighty 90, and then the other was a runner. So uh, on this push up, had, had some big volume here, pushing into this pivot. We got short right here and just caught a little winner right there in Roku for $55. And then our runner was the big, our, our biggest winner of the day was our runner in Roku when it came down to this pivot. Our friend Dale in the community called this out, had a little higher volume, pushing down to this pivot after, after making a strong move. So we got long right here and caught this move all the way. I think I closed out my last piece like right here. Uh, obviously there's a little bit more on there, but I was kind of wrapping up the morning, wanted to be done. Uh, so close that out, booked a nice winner of 705 on that runner. Uh, other runners, we had one in AMD. This is our one loser. Uh, had this, had this big spike uh, on this on the way down. So we were looking for a bounce to get short. We got short right here. Caught a nice flush. We're trying to get Phil to close half of it down here. Didn't quite get there. Uh, I actually had uh, where I uh, I had an order to get filled for half about right here, and then it bounced a little bit. So I moved my order up, and it just ran away from me. So I never did get filled. Uh, so when it pushed up back above this level, we just closed it out, took small loss of 180. And then in beyond, booked 194. Uh, this was on a runner as well. And so on this one, on this big push up, a couple big high volume bars, waited for a little pullback, got long right here, got out of, uh, got out of most of it here. No, we got out of half right here. Held the rest through this chop, and when it made another push up, we just bailed on the rest. We were kind of wrapping up for the day, so plus 194 there. DKNG, small winner for 89. Uh, caught a runner, uh, tried to catch a runner here, caught a little piece of it. But this isn't uh, really one of the traditional runners like we teach, but it had this big flush down. Had this bounce up into positive territory, not quite up towards the high, but above a key level. It was kind of chopping around, chopping around. When it made this big flush and then bounced right back up into positive, this is where we got long and just caught a little piece of this. Uh, got out of got out of most of it right here. We're out of thirty uh, three quarters of a per, uh, position. And then when it started pulling back, uh, again we we're just kind of wrapping up for the morning, so just ended up closing it out. Obviously that little piece would have would have taken off, but just kind of done. You know, I, I this is goes back to the self awareness piece that I talk about all the time. You know, this was a this was a time when I just I started getting a little bit fidgety, kind of wanting to get out of my positions, losing focus, and so. Um, you know, while I could have stayed in and, and watched the screens, I just didn't. And, and you've got to be self-aware because a lot of times when I start feeling like that, I start making poor decisions. So even though I left some money on the table, I'm okay with it because I know myself and I know that, uh, you know, getting out when I start feeling like, like that is the best decision, uh, long-term, uh, Netflix kind of the same thing. And, and, you know, Netflix, this is one where I, so I had closed everything out. I was kind of done. And then I saw this move in Netflix and I thought, well, I'll take one more trade. 
And uh, so we had this big push up and it pulled back to the pivot. I missed this entry here. I, I, I didn't see it and it had already bounced. I was like, ah, I missed it. I'm just gonna forget about it. And then it came back down. So I ended up getting long right here, uh, pushed against me, chopped around a little bit. And then finally when it popped up, the I, I, cl I closed it out right here because the rest of the market through all this chop the rest of the market and the NASDAQ were doing this just straight up and net and, and uh, Netflix was not participating in that. So I didn't like the looks of that. So when it, when I got, when it had this little bounce and I got to a positive PL, I just closed it out. Now, obviously in hindsight, held, holding would have performed better, but uh, you know, using those start, uh, market awareness things will help you out in the long run. So anyway, I just booked a scratch plus 30 on that one and already showed you Roku. So those are all of our trades. If you guys have any questions, let me know. We'll be back streaming live again tomorrow. Cheers.